Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, Molly is an orphan that needs to be adopted. But every parent that comes into the adoption center doesn't adopt her. Soon, Molly is an adult and she still doesn't have a family. She is homeless until the kindness of a stranger changes her life forever. But will Molly finally get a family? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment in the comment sections below this video. Guys, we read all of your comments. Ugh, this crib is so, it's so small. Why do I have to keep sleeping in this? Oh, good morning, Molly. I see that you're awake. Good morning, Brittany. Oh, why the sour face, Molly? Because this bed is too small. It's meant for babies. Well, you see, all the other kids at the orphanage have been adopted. And, well, you should have been too by now. But, I don't know, we're just struggling to find you the right family. But don't worry. We're definitely going to find the mom and dad that are perfect for you. I just know it. Uh, speaking of, get up and get ready, Molly. There's a new couple that are coming today to see if you're the perfect fit for their family. Oh, great. Another one to say. Molly isn't right. Molly does this. Molly does that. Molly isn't right for our family. Uh, I think I'll pass, Brittany. Hello. Uh, we're here to meet the little girl. Oh, are, are you her? Whoa. Hi. I, I, I'm Molly. Hi. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Sean. And um, I'm his wife. My name is Heather. Sean and Heather. Whoa, you're a cop, huh? That's right, <laughs> and we're looking to adopt a beautiful, wonderful, sweet little girl. Do you fit that description? Of course she does, guys. Um, why don't you guys have a special day out just to see, you know, how you guys get along? <sighs> Listen, Brittany, this never works out. Molly, just try your best. I'm sure that they're going to love you. Come on, Molly. Um, we could go to the park if you want. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. Okay, uh, I know the way to the park. I'll show you guys which way to go. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. What? What is this, an interrogation? Uh, no, we just wanted to know. I have the right to a lawyer. I, I don't have to tell you anything, cop. Whoa, uh, Molly, we were just trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh-huh, sure, sure you were. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly, um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing, ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to... Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen. I can do what I want. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm going to go down the slide. But Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. Do you have your bathing suit? Because you're going to get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Whee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I, I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um... We're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh. Oh, no, Molly. Not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well, then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I have pretty good manners. I just 
didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated! Ugh, Molly. What are we gonna do with you? I don't know, Brittany. I guess I'm gonna be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly! Molly! Where where are you? Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby! Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm. This mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite, too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm going to eat yours, too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mm. Mm, delicious. That Molly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm going to eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but at least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye. <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all uh, six scoops of ice cream. So I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just tidying up the, the adoption center in case we get any new kids in. Wait, wh where are the parents who took you out? They said no, as usual. Also, do you have any Pepto-Bismol? I have a tummy ache. What? Why? Well, I may have eaten six scoops of ice cream. What? They let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream? Are you serious? No, they didn't let me. I just took their ice cream, too. Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well... Be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry. I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Whee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello. Come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I, I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet them. Molly, why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Well, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. <laughs> uh-huh, yep. I'm going to adopt a kid. I know, right? <laughs> adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh, my gosh. What's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute. Your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry? Seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? 
Yeah, come on. We're gonna go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm. This is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me, can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm. I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Mm. Maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza. Wow, you sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Mm. I kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh! Here comes something special for you guys! Oh my gosh! Did you just stand on the table and fart? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Ah, um, sorry, I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to adopt me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? Well, it's been ten years, and I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But... But this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family. You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Oh, when do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh, I, I, I never got adopted and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news. How can this be the law? It just is. I'm I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have, but it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Oh, I'm starving. I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but I don't even have a penny to my name. I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. Score! I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster stir seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean, I'm, I'm so lonely. <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Hmm, an old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that girl eating from the dump still? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dump still? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, 
I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Oh, I'm not going to eat that old cheeseburger from the dumpster. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm, I'm homeless. And I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent where I live. And this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh, wow. I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout. And they put $20 in there for you, too. Seriously? That's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously. What happened? Anyway, they made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan, and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan, too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I, I never got adopted, and then I turned 18, and I had to leave. Oh, my gosh. That's terrible. Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Thanks. Bye. Wow. She said she was just going to give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy like a house. Holy guacamole. I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow. A house of my own. Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but I don't care. It's, it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow. We... It even has a TV. That Daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing them. Ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me! Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that, that that gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I am. My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's go. Come on in. M -m my house is a, it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I, I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the steals anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's 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 very nice. I, I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life. But I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have, though, was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No. Never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. Oh yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now, tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who who um came to see me. Wow. That sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey. Do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow, it sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly, did, 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 did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die happy? No, bad hip gave out on me. G Molly, should I do 911? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already fighting like sisters. Yeah, 
It'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Wow, we really did have to get up the crack of dawn for this flight. I know, Molly. Daisy, why are you so sad? We finally saved up enough money to go to Hawaii. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, except for it's like a 12-hour flight to Hawaii. I'm terrified. It's not 12 hours, but it is like 7 hours. It's going to be okay. I don't know, Molly. I don't like flying that much. Really? I think it's exhilarating. You're up above the clouds. You're way up in the sky. Yeah, that's exactly why it's so scary. What if the plane crashes? What if I want to get out? Well, what if what if spiders take over the plane? Uh, no, no, and no. None of those things are going to happen, Daisy. You watch way too many scary movies. Now, come on. We're going to be late. I don't know, Molly. I guess so. Hold it right there, please. Um, bags up there. Okay, okay. I know the drill. I've taken flights before. Uh, first the blonde goes through, please. Okay. Okay, uh, back up, please. Try it again. All right, go through it again, please. All right, wh what do you think this could be? I don't know. You're the security guard. Why don't you tell me? Molly, don't be rude. One more time here. Maybe there's... Let me just clear out the system here. Okay, I may need to call for backup. What? No, I'm not a criminal or anything. All right, I just need you to step over here, please. I know what's going on here, security officer. You do, Daisy? What? My sister has a few screws loose in her head. <laughs> Probably the metal detector is definitely catching them. No, very funny, Daisy. Okay, I'm to your pockets, please. Okay, there you go. Okay, I don't see anything. All right, let's try going through again. Okay, it must have just been a little glitch with it. <laughs> yeah. Watch that one, though. She's she's definitely got screws loose in her brain. Oh, ha, ha. Stealing my joke. Very funny, Molly. Okay, go through, please. <laughs> That's happening to you, too, Daisy. All right, try again. <laughs> that thing's totally whack. <laughs> oh, boy. My job is miserable sometimes. All right, go through again. All right, you're good. Have a great trip, I guess, or whatever you're doing. Molly, do you have your ticket? Jiminy Cricket, I forgot it at home! Are you kidding me, Molly? Uh, yeah, I'm kidding, I think. Where is my ticket? Okay, let me look through my backpack. Uh, a taser, uh, Molly! Just kidding, here it is. Well, hello there. Um, let me just see your tickets, please. Okay, I'll scan those right now. Welcome, Molly. I see today you're going to Hawaii. Daisy, don't look at the board. What? Why? Just don't. What? The, the flight to California? Does that say crashed? Uh, no. Uh, that was just a typo, right? Right, flight attendant? Oh, no. I'm afraid not. That one actually did crash. Ugh, we've been having so many problems with that plane. Okay, next, please. I'm out of here. Let me out. Daisy, what are you doing? Come on. We're going to Hawaii. They've, they only have one, like, plane crash every 10 years, and it's already happened, so there's not going to be any more. Could you tell my sister everything's going to be okay? Of course. Everything's going to be fine. Now grab your luggage and head to the plane. Oh, this is so bad. My sister is so freaked out now. Totally freaked out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need you to just take deep breaths into a brown paper bag. You got this, Daisy. You got this. Wow. This plane is posh! Okay, I'm gonna go see where the restroom is. Ah, uh, Daisy, here's the seats. I don't feel so good. I think I definitely need to go to the bathroom. It'll be okay, Daisy. You just probably gotta... <laughs> then everything will be fine. <laughs> Daisy, relax. Listen, everything's gonna be amazing once we get to Hawaii. Yeah, you're right, Molly. All this nervous energy will be worth it once we get to Hawaii. Hello! Welcome to the flight! Uh, I have to go back into the cockpit now because if I don't, the plane will crash! Holy guacamole! <laughs> that was interesting! Tell me about it! Why is he leaving the plane to, to, to run itself? Don't worry, everything's automated. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, what's that? 
turbulence, turbulence, Daisy, relax. Goodness gracious. Hi there, welcome aboard Flight 106 to Hawaii. <laughs> I'm super excited to have you two aboard. Wow, she likes to sing everything too, Daisy. Yeah. Oh, let's turn that frown upside down. Who thinks about going to a trip to Hawaii in such a big frown? She just feels like something's gonna go wrong on this flight. Of course not. Whoa, 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 I suggest that you guys sit down and just strap in. <laughs> We're having a little bit of turbulence. And here's a strawberry shake. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah, I want it. Give me it. Molly, don't be rude. I'm drinking it. Yes, it was for our passenger J Daisy so that she could be more comfortable. Well, do I get anything delicious? You could have this mint one. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Mmm. That tastes delicious. Ah, this is the life. I don't know, Molly. The plate is just... Whoa, it's doing it again, Molly. Really bad this time. Daisy, relax. Everything's going to be fine, I think. Whoa, I never have a plane do this before. Holy guacamole. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, oh, boy, that was crazy. Oh, no. Here it goes again. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Daisy! Wow, I've never been on a flight like this before. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, Daisy, everything's gonna be okay. We're we're good. I don't want to go to Hawaii. Turn the plane around. Daisy, it's look, da Daisy. Wait, come back here, Daisy. I'm trying to talk to you. Nope, I'm hiding. I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I was so dizzy. I was like laying down in the seat. Oh. Molly, you're supposed to be comforting me. Okay, look, Daisy, I'm sorry that this flight's been so rough. Don't worry about it, though. Everything's gonna be okay. Are you sure? Yeah, and think about all the fun stuff we're gonna do in Hawaii. Ooh, ooh, more turbulence. Um, we're gonna sit on the beach. I don't like this. Woo! Daisy, just listen to the sound of my voice. We're gonna sit on the beach. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna, um, drink drinks out of coconuts. <laughs> We even might see, like, um, I don't know, some, like, hula dancing and stuff like that. My brain is kind of scrambled from all that turbulence, but we're going to do something fun. Hello, could I interest you in anything else to drink? <laughs> Actually, the last drink you brought kind of made my stomach upset. What? I don't think so. I make the best in-flight drinks ever. Um, okay. Try this one. I'm sure it's going to knock you right off your feet. <laughs> um, no, thank you. Daisy, um, meet me in the bathroom. Daisy, I don't want to freak you out any more than you already are, but something's just weird about that, that flight attendant. I know, Molly. I sense it, too. I don't, I don't know what's going on with her, but I don't, I don't know if I like her very much. Don't drink any food or drinks she brings. I think she's trying to fill us full of toxic, like, slime or something. Ew, gross! That would make you have to go poo-poo a lot. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, come on, let's go back to our seats and just, you know, like, pretend everything's normal. Oh my god, she's still standing here. Oh, did you guys have a nice trip to the party? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, how about that drink now? I'm telling you, it's going to make you feel very relaxed. <laughs> For that matter, the pilot just had one. Um, okay, no thanks. Actually, you know what? You could go make us one. Um, and, uh, yeah, don't come back for like 15 minutes. Okay, how about I show you what it's going to be like in Hawaii, too? <laughs> you could just totally get chilled. Daisy, um, if the pilot drank that, I think I better go check on him. Why, Molly? Because something tells me there was something in that drink that'll knock you out. Molly, even I'm not as paranoid as you are. Yeah, but my gut's telling me something's not right about that flight attendant. Pilot? Pilot? Are you just taking a nap? Pilot? Oh my gosh, he drank the drink! And now he's knocked out, just like she said! Daisy, the pilot is knocked out. Of course he is. Because <laughs> you're trapped with me forever. Want a snack? No, I don't want a snack, you psycho. <laughs> You'll never get past me and my snack cart. <laughs> you 
You do realize that no one is flying the plane, you psycho. That means we're all going to crash and die. Whatever. This will be the flight of a lifetime. <laughs> the end of yours. Okay. Crazy flight attendant. Daisy, come here. We have to devise a plan. Come back here. I wasn't done. Okay, Daisy, I'm going to tell her that my stomach hurts and I need some Tums in the bathroom. When I go in there, we'll both lock her into the bathroom and then we'll land the plane. That sounds right, right? I don't know. That sounds like a crazy hand plane, plane plan to me. Sounds crazy. What other choice do we have, Daisy? I don't know. I guess I'll go along with it, but I'm never flying again. Next time, I'd rather swim to Hawaii. Okay, let's do this. There you are. ha. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I've got to go to potty. To the potty. Oh, flight attendant. Please bring me some tums. I've got heartburn so bad. <coughs> oh, ew. Okay, here's your tums. Um, can you just... Oops, I dropped them. Can you get them right there? Lock the door, Daisy. Melly, I'm trying. Okay, I'm just going to spray it with this and, and that'll help. Daisy, get... Okay, all right. We obviously didn't know what this plan was supposed to be. We're not on the same page. Okay, the door is locked. Hey, you little demons. Let me out of here, you brats. Okay, now come on. We have to go land the plane. <laughs> yeah, I know. You you drank the drink. You fool. Marty, what are we doing? I don't know. Plane emergency triggered. Yeah, that was me. I pushed the emergency button. Whoa, Daisy. Do you know how to fly this? Of course I don't, Molly. I thought we already established that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. Hello? This is the tower. Is there an emergency? Is there an emergency? Yes, there's an emergency. Listen up. There's an evil flight attendant, and she uh, knocked out the, the pilot, and my sister and I are just teenagers. We don't know how to land a plane, and it's bouncing all over the place, and I don't know what to do. Don't worry, Molly. I'm Googling how to fly a plane. Got it. We're going to be okay. It sounds like your sister knows what she's doing. We'll let you guys take it from here. What? No! She's only 16 years old. She doesn't know how to fly a plane. She only Googled it. Everybody knows Google knows everything. Okay, here we go. I am ready to die. Goodbye, life. Goodbye. Molly, I did it! I can't believe it. I landed a plane. I might have a new profession. Yeah, except for the fact you hate planes. All right, let's call 911. Good idea, Molly. Hi, 911? What's your emer emergency? I'm on the plane that just landed at the airport, and there's a crazy flight attendant on here. Okay, we'll be there right away. Okay, where's the criminal? We have her locked in the bathroom. <laughs> and I also farted in there, so it's extra punishing. Okay, um, I I I'll take care of this from here. I'm so glad you girls are okay. Thank you. Let me out of here, you little demons! This is the police. You have the right to remain silent. Oh, wow. It is stinky in here. Hey, don't be judging. Well, Molly, it's safe to say that the worst thing that could have ever happened on a flight happened to me. Um, yeah, I think you're bad luck. Molly, rude! <laughs> well, at least we landed in Hawaii. Maybe we should take that dream vacation. Agreed, Molly. We definitely need it after all of this. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I keep eating these donuts, but I never feel full. <laughs> Dan, are you okay? Um, well, not really. I, I'm just freaking out. What? Why? Mm, this leftover pizza is delicious. Can you stop eating for one second? Tell that to the baby. The baby keeps telling me you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. At one o'clock in the morning, at three o'clock in the morning, at five in the morning, I'm getting up all night long to eat the weirdest things like peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Ew, gross. I know, right? So what are you stressed about, Dan? You could tell me why I'm eating this donut. Well, the nursery isn't built yet. I mean, I've been working on it really hard, but the crib's not quite done yet because I accidentally put it together wrong and it fell apart. Oopsie. Oh, Dan, seriously? Sorry, I've never put together a crib before. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. But it's almost time for the baby and, and, and I'm freaking out now. Everything's done. Uh, Dan? Correction. 
It's not almost time for the baby. It's time right now! Wait, what? <laughs> Dan, wake up! I need another donut. And also, a ride to the hospital. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a dad soon! Okay, don't panic, don't panic. I'm not panicking, Dan. You are. Okay, I'm telling myself not to panic. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic! <sighs> I may not have the crib built, but I did have our overnight bag packed. Oh, wow, Dan, you're so prepared. All I've done today is eat a box of donuts and an entire thing of pizza. Oh, don't worry. After the baby comes, you probably won't be as hungry. Jeepers, I hope so. I bet this bus will be big enough to fit all the baby gear in. <laughs> Plus, it's extremely safe, and it doesn't have a lot of bumps when you drive it. What are you... Did you seriously just charter a bus? Yeah, I want to make sure we can fit all of our baby gear inside. Dan, we don't need that much baby gear. Come on, Laura. You don't want to have the baby right here in the street, do you? Well, not really. Come on, get inside. Buckle your seatbelt. Here goes nothing. Dan, make sure you're driving safe. Dan, slow down. We're here. Okay, Laura, just take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm trying. Laura, everything's going to be okay, I promise. I think. Here, I've got a stretcher. Hop on. Dan, I hope you can drive this stretcher better than you can drive that giant bus. Excuse me. Excuse me. My, 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 my wife needs your help. Uh, okay. What can I do for you? She's, she's about to have a, a puppy. A puppy? Dan, are you feeling okay? I mean, a baby. Oh, I was going to say, if she was having a puppy, she'd need to go to the veterinarian. <laughs> I don't deliver puppies here. He's, he's just losing his mind right now, doctor. I'm having a baby, not a puppy. Okay, why don't you go into exam room one and get comfortable? Really? Get comfortable? But isn't the baby going to come right now? Um, by the look of your wife, she has about 30 minutes. Oh, okay. 30 minutes, yeah. Oh, everything should be fine. Dan, deep breaths. Oh no, here comes a first time dad. They're always the crazy ones. How are you feeling, Laura? I feel like I got run over by that bus. Ah! How are we feeling, Laura? Everyone keeps asking me that, and I just want to tell you, not good. I want my baby out. Okay, well, let's take an ultrasound and make sure everything is going along smoothly, okay? Okay. <sighs> I can breathe, right? I can breathe. I hope you can, because if you can't, well, that would be bad. You'd die. Oh my gosh, don't tell me that, doctor! Laura, now you're freaking out. Just try to relax. How can I relax? I'm having a baby! It's going to be a wonderful time in your life, Laura. Now, okay, let's get you over to the exam room so we can do our ultrasound. I've had an ultrasound every single month of my pregnancy, so I know my baby's going to be healthy. And it's a girl! Oh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> little girls are the cutest. Well, little boys are cute, too. I've delivered thousands of babies. Whoa, I've never seen this before. I I've delivered uh, a thousand babies. And, 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 and th th this is this is beyond me. I, I, I've I never, ever seen this before. Seen what, doctor? This... This seems crazy to me. Oh my gosh. It's actually a boy instead of a girl, isn't it? Oh, this could be awesome. No, it's still a girl, right? Um, guys, it's still a girl, but it has, well, wings. Wings? Did you just say wings? Oh. Uh... You didn't actually just say wings, did you? Um... Yeah, I did. Your baby is a fairy or an angel or something. Oh my gosh. I I can't believe this. Dan, wake up. Oh, what? No, I can't. Too much craziness. Too much craziness. Laura, you're doing great. Your baby is almost here. Yay, I can't wait to meet my baby. This is the most amazing day ever. I'm going to name her Molly. Oh, I love that name. Here she is. I'm just going to wrap her up and her wings inside this blanket so they don't get cold. Seriously? She really does have wings? Yup, she sure does. Oh my gosh. Is she a fairy or an angel? 
She's definitely a sweet little angel. Hi, sweet little baby. I'm your mommy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, CBS. I would like to report that I just helped a woman give birth to a baby angel. I'd love to be That's right. On the telegraph. First one in Brookhaven history. On the telegraph. I'd love to be on the TV program tonight. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. Seven o'clock's great. Thanks. Okay. Well, your baby's very <laughs> healthy. See, uh, I gotta go be on the news. What? Yeah. First time I've ever delivered an angel baby. I'm gonna be famous. She's gotta be the sweetest baby on the entire planet. Well, she is definitely the most unique. Dan, come over here and see your daughter. I'm a little nervous. I'm a dad. Yeah, but she's beautiful. Wow, she really is. Aww, let's take her home. Great idea, Dan. We're a family now. Daddy, what are you doing? Oh, I have to work two jobs just to pay for all the toddler stuff. Daddy, you're the best daddy in the world. Oh, thank you, baby angel Molly. Oh, I work so hard. Dad, don't, don't be stressed, Dad. Everything be okay. Oh, you're a sweet girl. I, I try to be. <laughs> mama, 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 mama. Oh, hi, baby Molly. Oh, I'm just really tired right now, honey. What is it that you need? I hungry, I hungry, I hungry, I hungry, I hungry. Okay, well, dinner, dinner will be ready in like an hour. It took me a really long time to prepare it. In the meantime, while that's in the oven, I'm gonna go pay some bills. Hopefully we have enough in our bank account. We've been short almost every, every month, despite your dad and I working so much overtime. Oh, Mama, no worries, no worries, Mama. Oh, little Molly, you're so sweet. Yeah, I'm sweet. I know, you're an angel. Hmm, I am an angel. Okay, I do something nice. There, I use my angel power to make dinner. Mom, dinner's ready. What? Oh my gosh, I don't want to have a million dollars in the bank. I make a million dollars for you. What? Baby Angel, you you put a million dollars in our bank account? And I make dinner real fast because I know everyone's hungry. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Dada, wake up, wake up. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, you are amazing. I could get used to this. Oh, baby angel, that was so sweet of you. I had turkey and stuffing like Thanksgiving. Oh, such a sweet girl. Wow, my first day of school. I can't believe it, I'm actually in kindergarten finally. This is super exciting. Hi, I I I'm Molly. Oh, great. It's a kindergartner. What do you want? Um, to be friends? Duh. A second grader cannot be friends with a kindergartner. And what's up with those giant wings? It's not Halloween. <laughs> they're ugly. What? No, they're not. They're my wings. I, I, I was born with them. My parents told me they're beautiful. Well, your parents totally lied. I think they're weird. Really? They are? Yeah, totally. And don't talk to me anymore because you're a kindergartner, so I cannot be seen with you, or I'll look like a total loser. Wait, wait, we could be friends. Stop following me, loser. No, seriously, we, we could be friends, hold on. I, I have magic. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm interested. What can you do for me, kindergartner? Um, well, maybe this would make you less grumpy. What? What's on my back? It's an adorable little bear backpack. And it's full of super cute school supplies. Like pencils with little cute erasers on the top that are in the shapes of like animals. And it even has a laptop inside. Seriously? You did that for me? Yeah. Do you feel happy now? Actually, yeah. I kind of do. Awesome. Do you think we can be friends? Uh, I don't know about all that, but you did make me feel pretty happy. Cool! And by the way, I think your wings are really beautiful. 
I was just saying that to be mean. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for being honest. No problem. Sorry I was rude to you. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, I totally tur turned the bully's heart around. She's not a bully anymore. She's just really nice. Hey guys, what's up? It's Angel Molly, and I'm making a super amazing TikTok for you today. Who just drove their motorcycle by so loud? Oh, that's so rude. I can't even make a TikTok now. Hey, what's up? Um, what's up is that I am trying to make a TikTok and... Wait a minute. Are you a demon? Are you an angel? Ugh. Ugh, yuck. A demon. Oh, yuck. An angel. Except for the fact that you're, like, really pretty. Yeah, well... So what? You're a demon. Get away from me. Wait a minute. Are you the girl that makes all those amazing TikToks? You're, like, super smart and funny and stuff. What's your name, Molly? Yeah, that's me. You're a fan of my TikToks? Yeah, they're amazing. Wow, thanks. That's nice of you to say. No problem. You know, demons aren't all bad. Um, I beg to differ. How about you come to the ice cream shop with me, and I'll show you how demons can actually be nice. Well, I don't know. Come on, give me a chance. All right, fine. What's your name? My name's Luke. Hop on my motorcycle. Oh, this seems like a bad idea. Nah, it's going to be so fun. Whee! <laughs> my wings are blowing in the breeze. Ow, you ran into that plant. Sorry, I'm still learning how to drive this thing. I noticed. So, uh, what's your favorite ice cream? I'll get you anything you want. Are you going to steal it because you're a demon? No, but can you stop hitting me with your wings? They're huge. Well, you have wi wings too. Yeah, but my wings are really small. Yours keep smacking me in the head. Sorry, I can't help it. They're attached to me and, and basically they go where I go. Yeah, I know what you mean. My wings, even though they're small, it's just like sometimes they get caught in my backpack and they get caught when I'm closing a door. Yeah, that's so annoying, right? Yeah, totally. So what kind of ice cream do you want? Mint chip is my favorite, but I think I'm going to get bubble gum. Whoa, you're loaded. You have a ton of money. Yeah, I got a summer job. Doing what? Robbing banks? What? No, I'm actually working at the bank, making real money. Wow, you must be really smart. Yeah, almost as smart as you. I've seen your TikToks. Ah, thanks. Mmm, this is delicious. I hate to admit this, but I kind of think you're cool. Really? Do you think I'm handsome too? Um, let's not even go there. So that's a yes. <laughs> Are you going to eat an ice cream? Yup, chocolate. Mmm, I like chocolate. I actually like all ice cream. Something told me that you might. <laughs> mm. This is so good. Well, thanks for the ice cream. Hey, um, if you're not busy, tomorrow night, do you uh, want to go on a date with me? Date with a demon? Uh. Oh, come on. Well, I guess I could. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell Luke the news. And we've only been married two years now, though. Like, are we ready for this? Well, I'm at his job, so here goes nothing. Luke? Uh, are you here? Molly, what are you doing here, wife? Well, husband, um, I have some news. Uh, what is it? I, I... I'm going to have a baby. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Really? Oh, Luke, you didn't have to pass out. It's okay. I'm just so excited. Me too, Luke. Me too. This is going to be so amazing. I can't agree more, Molly. I think we're going to be great parents, even though, well, you're an angel and I'm a demon. I know, but we love each other, so we're going to make the perfect family. Is it, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Oh my gosh, a son. But more importantly, is it an angel or, or a demon? Actually, 
It's just a regular human baby. Wait, what? H how did that happen? I don't know, but Luke, maybe because I'm an angel and you're a demon. Wow, this is amazing. Can I hold my baby? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, he has my eyes. He has my smile. He's perfect. Congratulations, Angel Mommy and Demon Daddy. You have a perfectly healthy little boy. What are you going to name him? Um, I don't know. What What about... I don't know. What do you think? Lucas sounds pretty good to me. Wow, I love that name. Hi, Lucas. Molly, I got here as soon as I could. Are you okay? Well, I don't think so. Not this time, Luke. What? Why? It's almost my time to leave this earth. What? No, you're an angel. You have to live forever. No, not even angels live forever, Luke. I've loved you forever. Even though you're missing half your teeth now, you're so old. I still love you. And I still think you're the most beautiful angel on the planet. Oh, thank you, Luke. Ugh, these old bones, though. They're ready to give up. No, don't say that, Molly. Don't, don't say that. Molly? Molly? Goodbye, Luke. Uh... Molly! No! Molly! Molly, I can't live without you. Please, please don't leave me alone on the planet. Well, I mean, I have our son, but I'm just, I can't live without you. You're my other half. Luke, Luke, Luke. M Molly, I I is that you? Ah, it is you. You look so young and different. What is this? Is this a hallucination? No, Luke. <laughs> Angels only change form when they die, duh. <laughs> Just because we lost our human bodies doesn't mean that we're not still angels. I'll be your guardian angel now. Seriously? Yep, pretty much gonna follow you everywhere you go. And remind you to wash your socks and do the dishes. So you're like an annoying wife guardian angel. Exactly. Until you die, demon. And then we can be together forever again. Oh, I'm so glad you're my guardian angel. I didn't know what I would do without you. Me either, Luke. Me either. Dan, this is the room here. Come on. Look at all the babies. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, the doctor just said the baby we're adopting is wrapped in a pink blanket. Oh my gosh, is that her over there? OMG, this one says Molly. That's right, that was her name, Molly. Oh my gosh, hi little baby. Where are your parents? I don't know for that, I can't go for that. Are you sure this is a good idea? The baby's crying already. As soon as she saw us, she started crying. Dan, she didn't start crying because she saw us. She started crying because, well, she's a baby, and that's what babies do. Okay, but maybe she doesn't want us to be her mom and dad. Don't be ridiculous, Dan. Of course she does. Come here, little baby. I'm gonna pick her up, Dan. Okay. But be careful! That thing cries a lot. Hi, sweetie. I'm your mommy. And I'm your dad, if, if you are okay with that. Don't cry, okay? <laughs> oh, sweet little baby. There's no reason to cry. Maybe she doesn't want you to be her mom or something. Dan, that's a silly thing to say. Yeah, you're right. You're going to be the world's best mom, Laura. Oh, thanks, Dan. Let's take our new daughter home. Daddy! 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 What is it, Molly? I want to watch another movie. I want to watch another movie. No, Molly. It's time for you to take a nap. No! I don't want to! Molly, come on now. You already watched one movie, and you promised you'd take a nap like a good little girl. No! I don't want to! I don't want to! 
Molly, you need to listen to your mother. Oh boy, these toddler stages are so crazy. Come on, Molly, let's go up and take a nap. Mommy, I'm not tired. Actually, you sound very tired, Molly. Come on, let's go take a night night. See you in a little bit, Molly. Oh, kids, oh my gosh, I need a vacation. <laughs> Molly, I think your dad wants a vacation. I need a vacation too. On my vacation, I don't take naps. Well, we're not on vacation now, so you have to take a nap right this second. Oh, I don't want you. Okay, night night. See you in a few hours. I'm hiding. Okay, Molly, however you want to take a nap, I don't mind. This stinks. I don't want to take a nap. I don't need a nap. I'm a big kid. Molly, get back in your bed. Hi. I don't want to. <laughs> I think she finally fell asleep. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> this room boring. Woo, I jump on the bed. <laughs> okay, bored now. Woo, the same. One, two, three, four, eight, seven, four, three, nine. I know my numbers perfectly. Whoa, I say open the safe. Whoa, there's a lot of money in here. I need all this money. It's mine. I gotta, I gotta buy a car with this. Oh yeah, this could be awesome. My new car's amazing. Oh yeah. Making it rain with all my money. <laughs> This is gonna be the best life ever with all this money I have. Molly? What, what are you doing in our safe? <gasps> Were you stealing money? Who, me? Uh, yeah. What? No, that's naughty. You're not supposed to steal money. But I need a new sports car. You and me both, Molly. I need a sports car too, but I have to be an adult. And I made all that money, so you can't steal it from me. If anybody gets a sports car, it's me, Dad. Wow, you sound grumpy. Maybe you need a diaper change and a nap. That's it. Time out for you. What? But I, do I have to get the money back? Yes, of course. Give it to me, please. No, can't have it back. You can't get me and you can't have it. Molly, get Molly, get back here. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> you're extra grounded! You're you're going to baby jail! Baby jail? What's that? Baby jail is time out for the naughtiest of children! Oh man! You must stand in the corner until, well, for ten minutes! That's a long time! Well, next time you should think about it and and not be naughty. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm doing pretty good as a parent. I I think. Is this the right thing to do? I don't know. No, you're me. Sorry, Molly, but sometimes mom and I, we have to be strict and teach you a lesson. Uh, I don't like it. Just stay there for 10 minutes, Molly, and no more stealing from the safe. This is so boring. I'm out of here. <laughs> I broke out in baby jail. Oh, that was so boring. Instead, I think I'm going to get an ice cream. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> So good. Yummy! Molly, I can't believe it. This is a huge day. Why? I don't feel like it's a very huge day. Why are you crying, Mom? Because you're so grown up, Molly. You're going to take care for the first time. Oh, man. This sounds boring. You're going to learn so much, Molly. You're going to learn about math and science and social studies. Boring, boring, boring. Oh, Molly, try to have a positive attitude, okay? Now, come on. Let's go in and meet your teacher. Fine, but I can go in by myself. What? I was gonna walk you in. I don't need to have you walk me in, Mom. I'm a big kid now. Okay, Molly. Well, have a good day. Uh, bye. Ugh, my mom, she's like driving me crazy. She's always crying when I'm doing new stuff. Ugh. Good morning, little girl. I'm your teacher, Mrs. Lily, and you must be the new student. Oh, please don't stand on the desk, okay? Whee! <laughs> Let me tell you who's in charge here, lady. It's me. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> usually we don't talk to the teacher that way, but it's your first day, so I won't put you in timeout or anything. Uh, there's a timeout here, too? Uh, yeah. Did you have timeout at home? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. Oh, boy. I can see I've got my work cut out for me here. Okay, well, why don't you go play with the other kids? Actually, I think the only one here this early is Daisy, but she's super nice. You'll make good friends with her. Fine. You were kind of boring anyway. Use nice words, please, Molly. And welcome to Brookhaven Daycare.
Oh, hi. My name's Stacy. What's yours? I'm Molly. You talk kind of funny. Well, I can't help it. It's just how I talk. My mom said I'm adorable, though. Well, I guess your mom thinks you're adorable, but I don't. Ouch. You're kind of mean. Why don't you go play somewhere else? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I got off on the wrong foot. I'm Molly, and it's nice to meet you. How about we start over? Okay, I'm Daisy, and it's nice to meet you, too. Don't worry. I think you're just a little nervous about daycare. Wanna play with a hippo? Uh... Not really. I'm too big for that kind of stuff. But you just started daycare. You're like five years old. You don't play with toys? No, I have a much bigger agenda on my mind. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that Burger Barn delivered this. <sighs> I'll just eat it later, though, because I'm super busy at work. Ooh. The teacher just got something delicious, and my mom tried to feed me healthy stuff for breakfast. I didn't eat it, of course, so I'm hungry. I should steal her lunch. Come on. I'll share it with you. Um, I'm not gonna steal the teacher's anything, let alone her lunch. That's just wrong. What? No, it's fun. Besides, her lunch looks delicious. Look at it. I'm not stealing the teacher's lunch, Molly. Ugh, I don't know if you're a very good friend after all. What? Yes, I am. I'm the best friend in the world because I'm telling you we can have a delicious um snack right now. You don't want to. Well, I just think that it's wrong to steal. Okay, suit yourself, but I'm going to. Ooh, that cheeseburger looks delicious. Mmm, that's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Marley, you really did steal her burger bun. Yeah. Mmm, and it's delicious. <laughs> Do you want me to share it with you? I put some of it over on a tray for you over there. No, oh, I don't want to eat that. That's terrible. You stole the teacher's stuff. I'm telling and I'm taking it back too. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do that, Daisy. I'm going to take it back and tell her you stole it. Miss Lily, I have to tell you something. Oh, well, well, what is it, Daisy? Molly stole your book upon lunch, but I brought it back the half that she tried to give me because I don't want to eat your lunch. Oh, Daisy, thank you for telling me. You sure I'm not a tattletale? No, Daisy, of course you're not a tattletale. It's okay to tell the truth, and this was definitely a time that you should come to me and tell me what's going on. Okay, well, try not to be too harsh on my... I guess. Well, she definitely has to have a timeout, but thank you for telling me. I am sorry you only get to eat half of your lunch now. It's okay, Daisy. I wasn't that hungry anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Is my lunch very, very good, Molly? Huh? What? How did you know? Uh, because Daisy told me. But she... Oh my gosh, what a tattletale! Molly, time out, please. Oh man, come on, you can get in the playpen. What? I'm too big for a playpen! Don't come out for at least 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Well, mom and dad only give me a 10 minute time out. Well, you're a big kid now, and you stole from the teacher. Very naughty. 20 minutes in time out to think about what you did. Oh man, Ugh, that Daisy is so rude. I can't believe she told on me. What a brat! <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll sneak out. Yeah, it's what I've been doing since I was a baby. <laughs> Ooh, the park. This looks like fun. Oh, I could go swimming. I could go swing on the swings. Pfft, I'm not sitting in any kind of baby jail. Whee! <laughs> Whee! This is fun. Who needs school anyway? Ah, another day at school. I'm so excited. I think I'll store my money in my locker that I made from babysitting. It'll be nice and safe in there. Did she just say she left money in her locker? <laughs> now I can steal it when she walks away. <laughs> well, better get to class. <laughs> she didn't even see me behind that bush. Now time to break into her locker. Oh, I've got to go be a student. Okay, no problem. I can do that. Perfect. What locker owned? That's okay. I have a way to just bust into this locker. <laughs> Ooh, there's the money. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the mall with all this cash. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 dollars? Holy guacamole, I can buy something really cool at the mall. Caught you red-handed, Molly. Wait, what? What are you doing? I'm filming you, Molly. Stealing from my locker. No, I wasn't. You can't prove that. Uh, hello? Duh. Of course I can. I've got a, I've got a camel right here. And I filmed the whole thing. Oh, well, I was just putting this money back. I, did, I wasn't taking your money. What? Did I hear it? It's, I just hear someone was stealing. Oh, my gosh. It's the principal. Ugh. You are so in trouble, Molly. This is like the 10th time you've stolen this school year. What? 
It is? Well, you can't prove anything there, mean principal. Uh, actually, we can prove it, Molly. I have it on film, remember? I was just gonna put some money in Daisy's locker. You know, because I'm such a good person and all. Molly, I know that's not the truth. Give the money back, and it's detention for you. Ha ha, Molly! You are in trouble. You are in trouble. You just wait, Daisy. You'll pay for this! You'll pay for this! Okay, Molly, that's enough out of you. Come on, detention. You can have it in math class since that class is let out for the day. Fine! Oh, this is so boring. Quiet, please. And take out a piece of paper and start writing, I will not be a criminal about a thousand times. Okay, let me find my notebook. Where's that one I stole yesterday? What did you say? Nothing. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. <laughs> I'm not even really writing anything. <laughs> I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. Okay, I've got to go to the lunchroom because I'm super hungry and need a snack. Try to not do anything silly, Molly. Nope, just going to be right here. I will not be a criminal. I will not be a criminal. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I'm out of here. So boring. Oh, I don't have a car, though. What am I going to do? <gasps> Wait, there's Daisy's car. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I guess I should have paid attention in driver's ed. <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh, uh-oh. I sort of slammed into the mayor's office. Oopsie! Well, good thing that this card isn't registered to me. See, it says Daisy. <laughs> so I guess she'll take the heat for that one. What kind of ice cream do they have today? Hi there. <laughs> I would love to take your order. What would you like? Oh, um... Well, the mayor said since I'm going to be the new mayor and starting next week, I get free ice cream. Wait, what? You're going to be the new mayor? But aren't you still in high school? Yeah, they're turning over a new leaf, you know, getting the young people involved. So I will have a scoop of everything. Okay, well, here you go. Mm, free ice cream. <laughs> She totally believed that lie, too. It was awesome. Now that I'm a grown-up and I'm a criminal as my profession, I thought I should start looking a little bit more professional. <laughs> There's Daisy. Now I just have to wait till she goes to lunch, go in, hack into the computer, and steal all the money. Ooh, my stomach's growling. Guess I better go into the back end, get some lunch. Perfect timing. I have to work quickly. First, I have to hack into this computer. <laughs> it's working! Right? Should start spitting out cash any minute now. Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I got me some stacks of cash! Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy a huge mansion, a brand new, um, let's see, what kind of, what kind of car do I want? Um, a Lamborghini! Uh-oh! Here comes the police! <gasps> oh my god, they're right outside! Okay, it's alright, it's alright, I'll just go up here and pretend I work here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, I have to hide the money back here, and, um, okay, there we go. All right. Hands up, Molly! What? What are you talking about? I work here now. Oh, well, that's great. You got a job here, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Don't I look professional? Actually, I'm the manager. See why I'm wearing a suit? Oh, okay. Well, um, have a good day. I thought I got a call here that you were stealing things. Nope, I just work here. Don't I, Daisy? What? you don't. I'm your manager, remember? Now get back to work. She does not. I think she she hacked into my computer and stole all the money from the ATM. All right, Molly, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. I'm going to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. No way. <laughs> now, you can go quietly or we can do this the hard way. Oh, man. Molly, I knew sooner or later you were going to get caught. You've been a criminal since the day you were born. Okay, Molly, time to go to the slam. Oh, no! Can we at least listen to the radio? No. Um, can we go back and get the money I stole since I'm paying prison time for it? No. Can we stop at the grocery store? I really want a candy bar. No. Oh, man. You're no fun. I'm not fun. I'm a cop. Oh, my gosh. This room is terrible. Why do I have to wear this ugly outfit? I look terrible in orange. Because you're a prisoner. <laughs> you're a criminal. You have to wear a criminal outfit. And that's your room, so I hope you like it. Besides, you've got a bunk bed. You're pretty lucky. What? This isn't lucky. Let me out of here. Not a chance. You're going to be in there till you're very old. What? No, I'm not. Pfft, whatever. I'll just escape. I'll flush myself down the toilet, go into the sewer, and get out of here. Wait a minute. I don't... I, I don't fit. I'm too fat to fit down the toilet. Okay, maybe I could fit in the sink. No. Okay, there's got to be some sort of loophole. I've gotten out of every single jail, time out, and detention I have ever been put in since the day I was born. Oh my God. There's no way out. The 
there's no way out! Okay, maybe there's some way in the ceiling or something. Wait, is that a vent? <laughs> Wait a minute. It goes to nowhere! Just face it, Molly. You're stuck in here. But, but the vent! It looked like it was gonna let me out of here! Not a chance, Molly. Not a chance. Hey, they thought of everything for criminals. You think you can escape that way, but of course you can't. <laughs> but, Daisy! Sorry, you do the crime... You do the time. Oh, man. Well, it won't be so bad. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'll be out of here soon enough, right? I'll be out of here soon enough. Oh, I'll be out of here soon enough. Soon enough, I'll be out of here. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'll be out of here soon enough. Oh, I'm never gonna get out of here. Well, hello there, Molly. <laughs> I think you've finally done your time. I've been in here. For 70 years, you're finally coming back to let me out. Uh, actually, <laughs> that was my grandfather who put you in prison. I'm his grandson. I also became a cop. It's a family thing. Oh, well, that's really nice of you to finally let me out. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do now, though. Well, you're free, but I suggest don't be a criminal anymore because <laughs> if we put you in jail again, you'll definitely die here. Oh, well, I guess thanks for letting me out. No problem, Granny. I mean, Molly. Oh, oh I wonder where Daisy is. Uh, I think she um still works at the bank. Well, I guess it's time for me to start up. Granny? Granny? Granny, are you okay? Oh boy, I don't think she made it. And on the day she got out of prison. Well, that's the sad life of a criminal, I guess. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters who both wanted to adopt babies. There was Laura, who was always happy. And there was Dora, who was always grumpy. The two of them wanted more than anything to adopt a baby of their own. And this is their story. I cannot wait to adopt a baby. This is going to be amazing, Dora. You won't be a better mom than I am, Laura. I'm going to be an amazing mom. I'm going to be an amazing mom too, Dora. No, because I'm popular and you're not. Well, what does being popular have to do with anything? I have been popular since high school, and it's going to mean that I'm super good at being a mom. Uh, Doria, I don't think it has anything to do with that. Well, we'll just see who the better mom is, okay? Okay, Dora, if you really want to. La, 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 la. Oh, hello, new clients. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Laura, and this is my twin, Dora. Whoa, you guys look so much alike. I don't think we look alike at all. Really? You both have blonde hair. I mean, your faces look almost identical. Well, sort of. I have the pretty face. You mean you have the grumpy face, Dora. What did you say, Laura? Nothing, Dora. Oh, you guys even act like twins. What can I do for you today? We're both here to adopt. Oh, well, that's great news. Well, but there's some bad news, too. What? Bad news? What? Um, we only have one child left to adopt. Okay, well, it'll be mine then. Oh, <laughs> well, there's two of you and there's only one child. Well, Laura didn't want to be a mom that much anyway. What? Yes, I did, Dora. Don't say that. Well, why don't you guys meet the child and maybe she'll help you decide who should be her mom. Great idea. Let's meet her. Ooh, it's the toy hippo. I love that. Hi, hippo. Hi, Hippo. Oh, you're so cute. You're my favorite. Even if it does look like you're eating my hand. Ah, stop eating my hand. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Whoa. <laughs> you have a lot of personality, don't you? Who are you? And you. I'm Dora. I'm going to be your mom. Wait, what? Dora? She she doesn't even know us yet. Don't say you're going to be her mom yet. She, she, she'll get scared. What? Are, are you guys here to adopt me? Um, Molly, they're just here to meet you right now, honey. Um, but there's two of them and only one of you. Uh, yeah, I see that. So, so what's going on? Brittany, I, I don't like this. It, it's making me scared. I want to stay here with you, Brittany. Oh, Molly, you know you can't stay at the adoption center forever. Don't you want a mommy of your own? I want you to be my mommy. Oh, that's so sweet, Molly, but I just work here. You should see if you like Laura or Dora. 
You can choose which one you want to be your mom. Okay, I'll try it, Brittany. Okay, listen up! If you're gonna be my mom... Whoa, this kid has an attitude. We're gonna have to take care of that. Well, she's probably just scared, Dora. You're gonna be my mom! You gotta be nice! You gotta give me ice cream! And you, and you gotta change my diapers! What? You're not potty trained? You can already talk. Why aren't you potty trained? Okay, you don't have to do that. I am potty trained. I was sort of wanting a baby. You're kind of grown up for me. Okay, well, I guess I can't choose a mom then because you don't want to be my mom. I could be your mom. I have a better idea. Why don't we each take her home and spend a day with her? And whoever she likes best, she can choose as her mom. Actually, Dora, that's a great idea. You think so? You're totally going to lose. Ah, <sighs> Dora, it's not really a competition. It's just to see who's the best mom for this little girl. What's your name? My name's Molly. Well, I'm Laura. But hopefully someday you'll call me mom. I'm Dora. You can call me Dora. Okay, Dora. I'll call you Dora. Well, who is going to take Molly home first? I'll take Molly. I always go first because I'm amazing. Now leave that silly hippo here. I don't want to leave hippo here. Actually, she can take hippo with her. No, she's too old for that toy. Come on. Okay. I guess I don't have to take hippo with me. Goodbye, hippo. You've meant the world to me. Ah! Oh, this is going really well, Dora. I'm sure she's going to choose you. Be quiet, Laura. She likes me, okay? Now come on. Hurry up. Keep up. I'm trying, but my legs are shorter than yours, Dora. Whatever. That's such a lame excuse. Okay. I have to go shopping, so you can come along with me. Ooh, are we going to go shopping for toys? Not a chance, brat. Why are you calling me brat? Oh, I said that, like, very lovingly. Come on, brat. I don't know if I like her calling me brat. That's not very nice. Oh, look. <laughs> Everything's on sale. It's just perfect. Ooh, I love that shirt. Um, Dora, could, could I have some new clothes? The orphanage doesn't have many outfits for me. No? What do I look like made of money? I don't have money to buy you clothes and me. And if it comes to you and me, it's definitely going to be me that buys stuff. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go wait outside and get some fresh air. Ooh, a park. And Dora, 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 Dora. What? I'm trying to shop and you're being really annoying. What do you want? Um, can we go to the park when you're done? Please, please, please. No, I'm busy. I'm thinking about going to get an ice cream. I'm super hungry. Ooh, ice cream, my favorite. Come on, brat, let's go. Okay, I'm coming. Look both ways, doll. You don't want to get hit by a car, do you? Uh, not really. Okay, you can get in my golf cart. Golf cart? You don't have a real car? This is a real car. It's what the popular people drive around Brookhaven. Whoa. Doesn't have a seatbelt, though. That seems kind of dangerous. Well, I didn't think I was going to have a kid so soon. Oh, there's the ice cream shop. Oh, that looks so delicious. I'm going to get one of every flavor. Well, come on, brat. Can we go to the arcade afterwards? Please, Dora, please, please. I haven't been out of the orphanage ever. No, sorry. This isn't like your special day out or something. What? No one's even working here? Well, I'll just take what I want then and leave the money. So rude. No one's even working. Mm, this is delicious. Uh, Dora, you forgot something. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put sprinkles on my ice cream. Pfft, duh. No, Dora. You forgot about me getting an ice cream. I don't have enough money for both of us to get an ice cream. Oh, are you going to share yours with my me? Absolutely not. Someone else licking your ice cream is the grossest thing ever. Ew. Now come here and sit down and be quiet, brat. Oh, look at the time, Dora. It's time for me to get back to the to the orphanage. Your time is up. What? It's only been two hours. I know, but um, see you later. Brat, come back here. You can't walk on your own. Get back here. I know my way. Oh, my gosh. She was like the worst mom ever. Huh, huh, oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that this is over with. I just want to go see Brittany. Brittany! Molly, how was your day with Dora? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not leaving the orphanage ever! Oh my gosh. I knew this was going to be the case. Molly, I promise I'm not like my sister. She's just evil. Yeah, she is. You're both evil twins. Brittany, don't make me go. Molly, maybe, maybe Laura isn't like Dora. Can you just give her an hour or two to try it out? 
I don't know. Your twin is evil! I know she is. She's so a brat. But I promise, Molly, I'm not like that. Um, okay. I guess I'll go with you. But only for an hour! Wow, an hour? That's a pretty tall order to have me show you that I'm going to be a great mom in an hour. But here goes nothing. Hmm. When I was little, I loved going to the park and swinging on the swings. Do you like to do that? I don't know. I've never been to the park before. I live in an orphanage. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Come on, I'll show you how. You still know how to swing on a swing even though you're a grown-up? Of course I do. I still have fun, you know. Whoa! Laura, this is so much fun! Whoa, 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 I'm getting dizzy. It's best to get off if you get dizzy, Molly. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ow, the swing hit me! Ah! Oh, Molly, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you, you got hurt on the swing. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Do you need a Band-Aid? No, I'm okay. Thanks for asking, though. Aw, it's okay. So, um... Do you, um, need anything? What do you mean? Like, um, maybe some lunch? Ooh, lunch would be great. Or, or dinner, since it's getting kind of late. Yeah, I guess your time with Dora did take a lot of time up during the day, huh? It is time for dinner. Let's go to the Brooks Diner. Ooh, I always wanted to eat there. Look both ways, brat. What? What'd you say? Oh, that's what Dora said. Look both ways, brat. She called you a brat? Yeah. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry you had to, to go through that. Everything's going to be okay now, though. You seem really nice. You seem really nice, too. What are you going to order? I don't know. I just miss my hippo. Well, good thing I brought him along. <gasps> you brought my hippo? Oh, my gosh. Thanks so much. You shouldn't have to live without your stuffed animal. That's just mean. How's burger and fries sound? Delicious. Mmm. This is really good. Mm, mm, mm. I love this diner. It's my new favorite place to eat. I mean, I've only ever ate at the orphanage before, but mm, this is really good. I have to agree. It is pretty delicious. Well, what should we do now, Molly? Do you want to go pick out some new clothes? Really? Dora took me there, but she said I couldn't pick out anything. Well, I'm nothing like my evil twin sister. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, Molly. The hour's almost up. We have to hurry. We'll have to go on a super fast shopping spree. Look both ways, brat. Come on, Molly. Don't let anyone call you a brat. You're not a brat, but definitely look both ways. Wow, you're taking me to the Rockstar store? That's amazing. Yeah, let's pick out a brand new outfit for you. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Look at this alien outfit. This is so cute. Well, you can buy that if you want, Molly. What else do you like? Um, no, that's too grown up. Um, oh my gosh, this is cute too. And I need new pajamas. Okay, well, we'll take all three of these, please. Okay, let me just package that up for you. I'm gonna wear this one, okay, Mom? I mean, Laura, did you just call me Mom? Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Okay, well, our hour is up. Come on, we have to go, Molly. Okay. Back to the orphanage I go. Molly, you're back. How did it go? I see you got a new outfit. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I had a great time. Of course she did. I knew she'd pick me. I'm the world's best mom. What? No, you're not, Dora. You're a terrible mom. I would never pick you if you were the last person on the planet. What? Don't talk to me like that, you little brat. Don't talk to my daughter that way, evil twin. What? She's not your daughter. Yes, I am. She's my mom. Oh, Molly, you picked a mom? That's amazing. I'm going to miss you, Brittany. You were like my first mom or my sister or something. But I really like Laura, and, and she's going to be my mom forever. Well, all we have to do is fill out the paperwork then. I am so offended right now. Ugh, this is so annoying. You're the worst twin ever. Tell me about it, Dora. You're so evil. Goodbye, Dora. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Does this mean she's my aunt? Well, yeah, technically, but we don't really have to hang out with her very much. Just maybe for an hour on Christmas. Oh, man. Well, if it means you get to be my mom, Laura, 
I guess I'll have to endure it. I'm so happy that I made a match today. You guys are going to be the perfect mom-daughter team. I think so, too. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks, Brittany! Come on, Mom. Let's go home. Now here's your passy. <laughs> the baby went potty gross. Someone needs a diaper change. <laughs> oh no, she's miserable again. Oh boy. Huh, I don't like any of these other babies. I don't like it. I'm gonna keep whining. Wow, Molly, you're the bratiest baby ever. I can be a brat if I want to. <laughs> Molly, you're about to step on that other baby. Be careful. <laughs> Too many pop-ups. <laughs> wow, someone needs to put that big baby in timeout. Here, maybe if you have your teddy bear, you'll be happier. Finally, the big baby is happy. Now, maybe she'll try not to kill all of us. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's this baby food? Mm. This looks delicious. I definitely want some of this. No, don't eat that. You're going to get even bigger than you already are. Oh, no. This isn't going to be good. Whoa, look at this giant food. Holy guacamole. I definitely need that. Wait a minute. Why am I so small? <laughs> Money, you must have shrank back. What? No, that can't be. No, I was a big baby. I want to be a big baby. Oh, trust me, Molly. You're a big baby, all right. <laughs> I'm back to being big baby. You can say that again, big baby. Be quiet. Baby wants what baby wants. Oh, brother. Watch out, my sister's gone psycho again, and she's a giant whiny baby. I'm a big baby. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm a bigger baby. Whee! Ow! <laughs> Uh-oh, Molly. Looks like they were about to get in a brawl. Fight, 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 Molly. Get him. Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, <laughs> you shouldn't pick on other babies that are bigger than you. Look what happened. Oh, I can't believe you killed me. Oh, I'm gonna drink my bottle. It was me. I know what I'll do. Hey, he's still hitting me. Rude. Okay, I'm. That's it. That's it. Take that! Take that! And that! And that! Oh, God. Yeah, he killed me again. Do I want to enter Area 4? Not really. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one of these big baby foods, and I'm going to eat it, and then I'm going to be able to beat up anybody. Here I go. It was 149 Robux. Mm. Well, that's delicious. <laughs> so good. Now guess what kind of baby I'm going to be. Gigantic. <laughs> now I'm a bigger baby. Bigger than everyone. <laughs> everyone shall bow down to me. 
Ooh, a rumble. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-oh. This person's way bigger than me. Wait a minute. I thought I was the biggest baby of them all. No fair. <laughs> Molly, you're beating up your own sister. Uh-oh. Look at the brawl is against me and this other little tiny baby and this other little itty bitty 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 baby. Oh. The baby's a preemie. It's so cute. I'm sorry that I have to beat you guys up. It's a part of the brawl, but... Okay, bye guys. Oh, I can't even I can't even get that little baby because it's so small. Ow, what, who knocked me over? That little tiny preemie? It was crazy. Hey, don't pick on my sister, mister. Don't pick on my sister. That's right. That's right. No one gets to pick on my sister but me. Molly! <laughs> Ow! What are you doing? Daisy, I was defending you! Well, too bad, Molly. No, too bad for you. Uh-oh. Now it's me against this other big baby. No! No, you will not defeat me! No! Oh, Molly, are you going to cry some more? Yes! <laughs> that makes me sad. Oh! Someone just threw me. <laughs> I need a bottle. Whee! <laughs> oh, boy. You're the whiniest giant baby I've ever known. Whatever, Daisy. Daisy, don't do it. You're going to come over here and beat me up. You're going to be sorry. You're going to be sorry. Told you. Told you, Daisy. What? I can't believe that. Well, believe it. I'm bigger than you. I'm also the older sister. And anybody that comes near me is going to be a squished baby. I'm not even bothering you, Molly. Get away from me, Molly. Okay, fine. Here comes somebody else to be like so mean. I'm not going to let him know. You're the only one that's being crazy around here, Molly. You need to sit in time out. I don't want to sit in time out. Nobody understands why you're being so rude, Molly, and so whiny and mean. But you need to stop it right now, big baby. Okay. That's it. You need a nap. I knew it. You look so sleepy. Okay. I'll sing you a little lullaby. Go to sleep. Big baby, quit your whining. It's annoying when you try to kill us all. Go to sleep, Molly. Go to sleep, Molly. Oh, I think she's asleep. Wait, why is she sleeping with her eyes open? Because! I'm not really asleep! <laughs> Molly! How dare you try to take make me take a nap! <laughs> I'm coming for you all! Molly! That was so rude! <laughs> well, today my sister is at camp and I didn't want to go. Um, so I have a new babysitter and I'm sure she's going to be super nice because every babysitter I've ever had has been super nice. So it's time to go middle. I am DC and um, I was just wondering, are you excited to be my babysitter today? No, I'm not excited to be your babysitter. I could have gone to a pool party, but no, I had to be here all day. Whoa, you're grumpy. Now go to your room right now. Why? You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. You talked to me. Ooh, wow. She's a mean babysitter. Grumpy, grumpy. Let's escape. Do, 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 do. Time to escape. How do I get out of here? There's so many doors. Okay, this one looks pretty good. Whoa, this babysitter's made a mess. My mom's not going to be happy about that. Nope, nope, nope. She's going to be so mad when she sees it in here. Oh, I'm already outside. Okay, this is good. Things are going pretty good. Where are you, little kid? You're supposed to be in your room. I know you're outside. Oh, no, she followed me. Now I have to run. <laughs> getting away from the grumpy babysitter. Getting away from the grumpy babysitter. Don't touch the wall, still electrified. Boing, 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 boing. 
My name is Daisy, just like the flower. I got Roblox, flower power. Not really need it because every time I touch anything, I explode into a marshmallow head. Boing. Boing, boing, boing. Don't touch the sand because you're in Texas and it will boil your feet, see? <laughs> so high here, seriously. I just want it to be snowy. I want to go live where Santa is because it's too hot in Texas. I don't like it. Why do you think I wear my hair in pigtails all the time? Because it's too hot to wear it any other way. Jeez. I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Do, do, do. I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Whee! <laughs> that was fun. Guys, if you love Roblox as much as me, slam that like button. Come on, guys, give this video a huge thumbs up. It'll make me so happy. And this is my new channel, Gaming with Daisy, so... I need you guys to support me, okay? Because I know you guys love me and stuff. Okay, guys, now I have to jump over these lava sand um thingies. Because if I don't, again, it will melt my shoes and my feet. It, that would be bad, very bad. Uh, did you think you were going to get away from me that fast? Um, well, yes, yes, I did. No way. <laughs> I just shrunk you down. See if you can escape now. Oh no, this grumpy babysitter just shrunk me. And now I have to try to escape the kitchen. Ay, ay, ay. Looks like we were going to have pizza too. This babysitter ruins everything. Now I feel like I should have gone to camp with Molly. She's totally going to be like, I told you so, Daisy. Maybe I could call her. Um, there are no phone calls. But it's my phone! And it's my house! Not right now it's not. Right now it's my house. I'm the babysitter, so I'm in charge. I don't like this, not even one bit. I wish I was a grown-up right now, because you'd be fired! With a capital F! For failed babysitter! I give you an F on your babysitter test. If there was a test to be a babysitter, you would get a giant F on yours. It's so grumpy and mean and I don't like you. There, I said it! And I'm not mean either, but I just said it, you're mean. You're grumpy. And I don't like you. Oh, whoa, I almost fell. Then I'd be stuck with this babysitter forever. Okay, let's sneak out. She doesn't know I'm in here. What? She turned our living room into lava? Oh, something tells me I'm going to get blamed for this one. My mom, I hope my mom believes this was a grumpy babysitter. Wait a minute. She has to believe me. How am I going to put lava in the living room? I'm just a kid. Jeez. Yeah, you're definitely going to get fired. Mom's going to make you clean all this up. I don't know how you're going to sweep up lava. It's going to melt your broom, babysitter. Ooh, I'm outside. See you, babysitter. Now I just have to learn how to drive a car. Hmm. That seems like it might be a little tricky. Nah, driving the car should be pretty easy, right? <laughs> Whoa, um, yeah, I'm not good at walking on tight ropes. Just going to say that right now. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I just landed on top of a windowsill, but it saved my life, so I'm super happy about that. Hey, who sat down there? I don't know, he died. He died before he could he could even escape the grumpy babysitter. Okay, let's get out of here. Whoa, I almost died right there, but I didn't. Thank goodness. Phew. Where did that little girl go? Oh, what a baby. I'm not a baby. You take that back. Wait a minute. I think I know where she is. She went outside. No, I didn't. I'm still in my room. See? Oh, no one's in her room. Okay, I'm going to go out and get her. 
Oh no, here comes the babysitter. I should have just stayed quiet. Bling, bling, bling. Whoa! I made it! Hooray! Bling, 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 bling. So much jumping, jumping. Oh! No, I made it that whole way. And then I died at the end. I have to keep trying though, because who wants to stay with this stinky babysitter? I mean, she's not literally stinky. But she's stinky like... She's stinky like mean and grumpy. Nobody likes a grumpy babysitter. Boing! 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 Wait till I tell my sister Molly about this! She'll probably be like, oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Pretty soon a babysitter is not gonna find me up here! Oh, really? I could say something totally different, and I am going to say something totally different. I found you! Wow, that was witty. <laughs> Boing! Boing! Running super fast from the baby saddle! Okay, this is part is really hard. Uh, I hope I can get out of here super fast, kiss. Um, trying to run really fast, but it's hard to run really fast and jump. I'm right behind you. I'm um, really, because I don't see you, Slowpoke. I think I'm way faster than you. And I think I'm smarter than you! There, I said it! <laughs> I read a lot of books, so I'm very smart. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I almost died right there. Oh, no! Oh, do, 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 do. That's my sad song that I sing when I die. Oh no, here we go. I'm right after you again. <sighs> Don't you worry, babysitter. You're never going to catch me. Not ever. I have super speed. Do, 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 I just ran my face into that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. Now I have to go up here, up here, up here. Close up of my pigtails. <laughs> oh, wow. That was super scary. This, this part is so hard. No! Oh, I need some flower power, guys. Come on, say it with me. My name is DC. Just like the flower, I've got the blocks, flower power. Okay, I was busy concentrating on the song and I accidentally fell off the edge. Whoops, let's try that again. <laughs> Sorry, but that looked kind of funny. <laughs> Here we go again. Do, 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 just so you know, if you're a Roblox noob, this might be hard. It might be even harder even if you're not a Roblox noob, because look at me, having a hard time doing this, seriously. Let me out of you. Maybe if I just wish with the flower power, I can get out of you. I'm going to close my eyes and make a wish. Whoa, it worked! I wish that I could be past that and away from the babysitter. And guess what, guys? It worked! Flower power is a weird thing. That's why my name is Daisy. That's right! And that's why I'm special, too. <laughs> Let's escape the baby. Say, eh, 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 eh. Okay, sometimes when you have to climb up walls like this, I fall like 6,000 times. But I've been practicing, and hopefully my practice means something right now. Because if not, I'm going to be stuck with this annoying babysitter forever. Oh, I'm stuck right here. I'm coming for you, you little baby. I wish you'd stop calling me a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm not a baby at all. Okay, let's go. Oh, I keep hitting my head. I don't understand. Ouch. Why did they put these so close together? That was just bad design work. Yes, I made it. Hooray. I guess all the practice um, paid off, even though basically I almost just fell. <gasps> yes, I finally escaped the babysitter. Hooray. Now I can have so much fun. 
Gonna take a spaceship out of you. See you later, baby Santa. Hey, I was supposed to be babysitting you. I better still get my $50. I took the $50. Now I'm gonna go to the toy store with it. Bye! <laughs> hey, come back here, baby. You can't take that spaceship. Come back here. Whatever. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, give me Daisy fans. Thanks so much for watching my silly video today. <laughs> guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Oh, my gosh. I totally just died. <laughs> that was funny. My spaceship crashed. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you for being the best fans in the whole world. Bye. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Crazy Granny, crazy Granny, crazy. Molly, what's all this racket? It's so loud, I'm trying to do my homework. What is it? Can't hear you. I'm at Granny's house. Molly, stop for a second. Okay, what, Daisy? I'm trying to be a rock star. You know this. Molly, yesterday you wanted to be an astronaut. And today I want to be a rock star. So stop in, like interrupting my practice right now. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Molly, stop. It's so loud. Just turn it down. No, I can't. Rock stars play their music da, 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 loud. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to tell Mom. What? No, you're not. But Daisy. Mom, Mom. What is it? What is it, Daisy? Mom, Molly is playing her music like way too loud. And basically, I can't concentrate on my homework. I'm not playing it that loud. And besides, Mom, um, this is part of my music class homework. Is it really, Molly? Yeah, I'm doing this paper on how I'm going to be a rock star someday because um, our teacher asked us what we wanted to be when we grew up, and I told them that I want to be a rock star. And so I'm going to do a performance in front of the whole um, the whole class. And not just my class, but the whole, like, grade. Whoa, Molly, that sounds really crazy. Are you sure you won't get nervous? Hello, I'm back here. Is anybody listening? Uh, yeah, we're listening to you, Daisy. I just, I can't believe that Molly's going to perform in front of the entire grade. <laughs> it's going to be awesome, right, Mom? Yeah, I'm really proud of you. Wait a minute. Um, I came out here to tattletale on Molly and... Yeah, you came out here to tattletale and basically no one wants to hear a tattletaler. Daisy, um, go ahead and shut your door, okay? That way Molly can keep practicing. It sounds like she really needs the practice. Wait, what? Are you saying I'm bad? Oh, <laughs> no, I don't mean that you need practice because you're bad. I'm just saying you need practice because you have to be ready for your big performance. Okay, Mom, still sounds like maybe you were saying I was bad. Hello, is anybody listening? I can't concentrate. It's too loud. Daisy, like I said, just close your door, okay? It shouldn't be too loud then. Fine. And, Molly, could you do me a favor? Um, well, I really need to get back to being a rock star, Mom. Would you please go outside and put these um, bills in the um, mailbox for me? Then you can go back to being a rock star. Okay, Mom, sure. Now I know why my mom asked me to come out here. It's raining. She didn't want to do it. Uh-oh. Uh, Mom, we definitely need some Robux right now. Because literally, uh, we don't have enough money. <laughs> mom, did you go to work this week? Jeepers creepers. Okay, now I gotta go back to being a rock star. Get out, Molly! Daisy, you locked me out of the house? Are you serious right now? You are so spoiled, Molly. Whatever. I have a secret key. It's right here under the mat. <laughs> I'm back in! Good riddance to my sister. Now I can really concentrate on my homework. I'm in Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm in Granny's house and she's totally insane. Wow, Molly, it's sounding really good. Uh, that's a really interesting song you've picked. <laughs> right? I'm in Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm in Granny's house and she's totally insane. I still can't concentrate. Molly's too loud. 
Okay, fine. I'll go do something else until Daisy's done with her homework. Well, I just decided to eat something. Ooh, this looks delicious. Molly, don't take it all, you pig. I wanted some too. Daisy, don't be mean to your sister. But she got more than me. Does it really matter if I got more than you, Daisy? Yes, it matters, Molly. Jeez. I'm going in here to eat. Um, Daisy, why don't you sit out here with the... Daisy? Why don't you sit out here with us? Daisy, you have to sit at the table for dinner, please. Fine. Hmm. I don't usually like salad, Mom. This is delicious. I, I, I was just wondering if maybe I could have more salad. Hey, Molly ate it all. <laughs> oh, I'm so full. Maybe excused. Mom, Molly ate way more than I got to eat. Well, Daisy, you decided to go to your room. Ugh, this is so annoying. My sister is so spoiled. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to go play my game. It's going to be awesome. Which game do I want to play? Ping pong? Oh, yeah! This game is so fun. Molly, remember we're partners for the science project, which, by the way, was not my idea. Mrs. Hillway said we had to. What well, Daisy can't hear you. Molly, I need your half of the science project. Uh, Daisy, okay, I'll get to it later. No, you won't, Molly. Then we'll both fail. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, not uh-huh. I don't want to fail, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna go tell Mom. No, wait, Daisy! Yep, I'm gonna go tell her. Okay, well, you could just tell her that um, you're such a tattletale then. I'm not, Molly. It just... Girls, are you arguing again? Oh, my goodness. I need a vacation all by myself. <laughs> Mom, a vacation all by yourself. That's a good one. You'd miss us. Um, yeah, sure. I'd really miss you. <laughs> Mom. Mom, Molly and I are supposed to be partners for a science project due tomorrow. And, and well, Molly has to do half and I have to do half and I did my half, but Molly didn't do her half. Is that true, Molly? Uh, well, um, no, not entirely because I planned on um, getting the rest of it done as soon as I get finished playing this game with my friend. Um, Brookie Cookie's online and, and I'm playing a game of ping pong with her. Well, Molly, you have been working harder at school, so I guess you can play a game. What? Does she can't? Why can't she play a game? I mean, if she doesn't do this, I'm gonna fail. Molly, did you hear that? If you don't get your work done, your sister will fail too. Uh-huh, I heard you. Don't worry, she's not gonna fail. Okay, Molly, well, as long as you promise. But she didn't promise! I didn't hear her say promise! Ooh! My sister is such a spoiled brat! You're a spoiled brat, Molly. What? Can't hear you, Daisy. <laughs> Molly, if I have to do your half of the science project, I'm gonna scream! That's it, I'm unplugging your computer. Hey! Daisy, I was right in the middle of the game with Brookie Cookie! Well, now you're right in the middle of doing your science project. Oh, I can't believe I have to go outside and collect leaves from the trees. We have to properly identify trees in our yard. Uh-huh, I can't hear you, Daisy. Oh, now that my sister's gone, I can just swing around back here and just jump in the pool and relax. Ooh, I can jump off the trampoline. Woo! Went into the pool. <laughs> it says here, according to this, Molly, that our trees in the backyard over here are maple trees. Molly, what are you doing in the pool? I'm chillaxing. Molly, I don't even know what that means. It means chill and relaxing all at the same time. Get out of the pool! Fine, so bossy. And you're so spoiled. Okay, I think this is the maple tree. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, that's the maple tree. <laughs> I told ya. Look at all these leaves. This is gonna be easy, Daisy. No, Molly, you have to get the ones up at the top. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna try to get one. Ugh, ugh. Uh, I can't even reach it. Okay, let me try something else. No, that didn't work either. Okay, let me try. Um, yeah, I just give up. I'm gonna sit down and relax under this tree in the shade. Molly, we have to get the leaves that are still green. Well, you get on that, Daisy. I'm gonna chill here. Like I said, 
My sister is the most spoiled person in the whole world. Molly, what are you doing? Are you helping or are you just sitting under the tree? Help your sister. Ha <laughs> ha, Molly, you finally got caught. <laughs> and I'm done with my half, so I'm going to jump in the leaves. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, brother. Now who's spoiled? You are Molly 100%. DC fans, welcome to my pool party! What? I'm so excited about this pool party! I was invited, right, Daisy? Of course, cutie! Um, you are all invited in my pool party. Did you get my invitation? I did! And I'm so excited about the pool party today. I know, right? Me too. Now, let's see. Where's my bestie, Bookie Cookie? <gasps> She's not here! Oh my gosh, she didn't come to my pool party! Oh no! Wait a minute. I better call her on the phone and ask her because I feel like she would come to my pool party and I don't know why she wouldn't, so I'm gonna call her and ask her. Let me get out my guy phone. Okay. Bookie Cookie's number. There it is! It's ringing. Hey Daisy, what's up? Hey, Bookie Cookie! Oh, why are you wearing your bathing suit? Are you at the pool? Yeah, why aren't you here? What are you talking about? Um, you didn't invite me? What? Yes, I did! I'm having this huge pool party and everybody's coming and you're not here! Um, well, I didn't get my invitation. What? Yes, I, I sent you an invitation! I think, anyway. I put it right on the counter in my kitchen! Um, well, I'm sorry, Daisy. I didn't get it. Well, you could still come. Ask your mom if you could come to my pool party today. Okay, Daisy, hold on. Mom, can I go to Daisy's pool party? What did she say? What did she say? She said, yeah, I can. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes. Bye, Bookie. Bye, Daisy. Okay, I'm just going to wait in the pool for my friend. Hey, Daisy, great party. Thank you. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I'm going to have the best pool party in the whole world. First, I want to go up this slide. Then when I get done with that, I bet Pookie will be at my pool party. Oh, ouch! I fell! Ouchie! I fell right in my bum bum. <laughs> Okay, if you come to the pool, this slide right here is totally insane. Daisy, is that you way out there in the pool? Bookie, hold on, I'm coming over. Don't jump in the pool, Bookie, we'll jump in together. Okay, Daisy, I'll wait for you. Bookie, I'm so happy to see you. You're my best friend, you have to come to my parties. Oh, I'm so happy to be here, Daisy, this is great. Whoa, someone made a total mess over there um, at the soda machine. Yeah, crazy. Let's go take a selfie by it. Okay, Bookie, if you really want to. Of course I do. This is insane. Um, This is a huge mess. Come on, let's take a, let's take a selfie. Um, Daisy, don't drink the soda off the ground. Ew. Oh, <laughs> I was just picking it up to put it in the trash. Sure you were, Daisy. Say cheese. Ew, Daisy, you drank the Pepsi off the ground. Gross. Yeah, but I was really thirsty. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, Daisy. Pookie, let's jump in the pool. On the count of three. One. Pookie, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. One, two, three. <laughs> we're best friends and we jumped in the pool together. Let's play Marco Polo. Okay, let's do it. I'll go first. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Ooh, I can't even see who Pookie Cookie is. Marco. Polo. <laughs> I almost got you, Pookie. Where's Bookie? I don't hear her. Marco! Polo! What is going on? Okay, I give up. 
Don't give up, Daisy. I'm sure you're going to catch me eventually. Okay, I keep trying. Okay, close your eyes. Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! What? What's... Molly, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I'm at the pool party. Molly, this was just for my friends, not sisters. Uh, I'm your friend, Daisy. Molly, you're my sister. Okay, well, I'll even be Marco and you can be Polo. Molly, I... What is going on? You said it'd be at my pool party. Well, then why did you send me an invitation? I didn't send you an invitation, Molly. Um, guys, don't fight, okay? It's not cool to fight. Yeah, guys, don't fight. Hey, cutie. Um, thanks for coming to my pool party, but my sister has to go home now. I'm not going home. I want to be at the pool party. Besides, you sent me an invitation. Why'd you do that? I didn't. You left it right on the counter for me. Oh, Buado. That was supposed to be for Bookie Cookie. No wonder she didn't get her invitation to the pool party. What? You didn't send me an invitation? You mean that was Brookie Cookie's and it wasn't mine? Yeah, Marley, that's why. But why wouldn't you invite me? Because you're an annoying older sister. Just like you say I'm an annoying younger sister. But Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Um, Daisy, can I talk to you over here? Why? Um, just because I want to talk to you over here by the corner of the pool. Okay, fine. Okay, Bookie, what is it? Bookie? Where are you? Come up here, Daisy. What is it, Bookie? Look, I know you think your sister's annoying, and your sister thinks you're annoying sometimes. I know, because sisters can just be annoying, I'm sure, but I think you really hurt Molly's feelings by not inviting her to the pool party. But I didn't want her to annoy me at it. Well, sometimes sisters annoy you, but doesn't mean that you can be mean to each other. I think you should invite her to the party. I mean, you love her, right? She's your sister. Of course I love her, but... I don't know why I didn't invite her. I guess it was kind of me. Yeah, but it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes, Daisy. Why don't you just go and say you're sorry? You're probably right, Bookie Cookie. I could go over and tell her I'm sorry and even give her a Pepsi. She'd love that. Good idea, Daisy. Good luck. Thank you, Bookie, for being the bestest friend in the whole world. I have to go find Molly. Can't believe I didn't get invited to the party. <laughs> Molly! Molly! What, Daisy? What do you want? Molly, I came over to say I'm really sorry I didn't invite you to my party. Well, that's because you said I'm annoying, but guess what? You're annoying! No, I'm not. You're annoying. You're annoying! No, you're annoying. You're annoying! But I don't even know why I came over here, Molly. Goodbye! Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Daisy, how did it go? Uh oh, Bookie Cookie's talking to me from Overdale. I'm not gonna tell her how it went. I'm gonna go up here and hide where she can't find me. Um, Daisy, I'm right behind you. Oh, it went okay, except for my sister called me annoying, so I didn't invite her to the party. Daisy, oh, come on, come over here with me. I'll solve this between you two. Well, tell my sister to be less annoying and there'd be nothing to solve. Tell my sister to be less annoying and there'd be nothing to solve. Okay, guys, I'm going to ask you some questions and you have to answer them honestly. Okay, that should be easy enough for me. Are you calling me a liar? I'm not a liar. No, Molly, I'm calling you annoying. Okay, enough, guys, seriously. Ugh. Well... I'm just saying she's annoying. Do you guys want to do push-ups? Push-ups? Why? Because if you can't behave, I'm going to make you do push-ups. Whoa, you should be a gym teacher when you grow up. Oh, a drill sergeant. <laughs> okay, guys. So, Daisy, do you love your sister Molly? Of course I do. And Molly, do you love your sister Daisy? Uh, well, uh... Molly! 
Yes, I love my sister Daisy with all of my heart. Then there you go. Sometimes the people who love us, or who we love, annoy us. It's just a part of being human. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't be nice to each other or apologize. I guess she has a point, Molly. Yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry, Molly. You were invited to my pool party. It's okay, Daisy, that you're annoying and I accept your invitation. Molly! <laughs> now let's get to the party! See what I'm talking about, Brookie Cookie? Oh, yeah, yeah, sisters. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Hey, Gaming with Daisy fans, thanks so much for watching my pool party. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel and hit the notification bell. We see you guys next time. Bye! I can't stay at this orphanage forever. I'll never get adopted here. Oh, I just want a nice family of my own. But no one ever adopts me. <laughs> Why won't someone ever adopt me? That's it. Tonight, when all of the grown-ups and the staff go to dinner, I'm going to escape. That's what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh, it's 5 o'clock right now. OMG, they're probably all going to dinner right this second. And the door is open. I can get out of here. I'm kind of afraid, though, because I'd be out there after dark all by myself. I can do this, though. I can do this. If I ever want to find a family... I can't be stuck at this orphanage. It won't be long and it'll be getting dark out. Then where should I go? Oh, wow. This is a police station. I don't want them to know I'm, a run I'm running away. Then they'll take me back to that orphanage. I don't ever want to go back there. I've got to find my own family. Wait a minute. I could hide in the cemetery. Yeah, no one would ever think to look there. <laughs> Unless you're a ghost. Then maybe you'd be in there. Wait a minute. Is this place haunted? Because I don't want to go in there if it's haunted. Nah, that can't be true. I'm sure it's not. Whoa, I almost fell into that grave. Holy guacamole, that would have been crazy. Okay, I'll just hide behind this tree right here. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, I'm afraid to be out here alone. I guess, I guess I'm going to sleep in the cemetery tonight. I don't know where else to go. It's really cold and, and, well, I don't have an, a bed or a house or a mom or a dad. Awoo! What, 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 what was that? What was that? Awoo! What was that? Oh my god, it's a full moon! Are those wolves? I think wolves come out when there's a full moon. Awoo! Oh my god, are they coming this way? Um, I'm just gonna, I, I, I'm gonna go hide behind that tree. It just looks like, I don't know, I need a better place to hide. I don't know what to do. I don't want the wolves to get me. I just wanted a mom or a dad. A oh my gosh. That sounds like it's coming from in the cemetery. Oh my gosh. Is that a wolf? OMG. Okay, maybe if I just sneak over here, he won't see me. OMG. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Woo! Oh, I don't think he saw me. Oh, yes, he did! Ah! It's, it's a werewolf! Oh my god! Ah! Ah, woo! Maybe he can't climb up here. What am I saying? He's a wolf! He can go anywhere! Ah, woo! OMG! Wait, can wolves climb trees? I don't think they can. Okay. Just gonna go up onto this tree. That'll, that'll keep me safe, right? I think. Oh my gosh. A wolf is chasing me. I should have never left the orphanage. A Look at his face. He looks evil. He looks terrifying. Oh man. I really need a mom or a dad right now to save me. A OMG. Two wolves? Oh my gosh. This is not good. Okay. What should I do? It doesn't seem like they can come up here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna jump into the cemetery and just run! Run so fast! Oh my gosh, maybe if I just go over here and hide, they won't know. Maybe I should go in the grave! Yeah, they won't think to go in there. Oh, oh man, how am I gonna get out of here now? Oh my gosh, I'm too short to jump out! And I think they saw me come down here! Oh, Oh, MG, 
my first night out of the orphanage, and I'm going to be some wolf's dinner. Ah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a little kid wolf. She's helping me out. Why? Do you want to make me your dinner? Oh, of course not. Are you crazy? Oh my gosh, you talk? Of course I do. I'm a sophisticated wolf, silly. OMG, I, I don't want to be your dinner. Or are those your parents? Yeah, they're my parents, and they don't want to eat you for dinner either. They were just trying to ask you if you were all alone. Do, do, they, do they speak human? Of course we do. Uh, yeah, but we're still working on it. <laughs> We've been speaking wolf for so long. Oh! Whoa, are you guys nice or are you just trying to prank me? Oh, uh, don't we look nice? Uh, no, Daddy Wolf, you don't look nice. You look evil. Hey, that's not very nice. I can't help it. I was born to look this way. Well, dear, your eyes do look a little creepy. Yeah, they look super creepy, Dad. No offense or anything. Oh, I thought that they looked awesome. Well, they're awesome, but they're just creepy to humans. That's all. Wolves think it's super cool. Whoa. Uh, okay, uh, I'll see you guys later. Wait a minute. Did you come from the orphanage? Yeah, why? Do you need a family? Um, yeah, I could really use a mom or a dad. <laughs> well, maybe my mom or dad could... Mom and Dad could adopt you. Uh, sorry, but we're different species. <laughs> I can't be a part of your wolf family. See, I don't have pointy ears. I don't have a tail. I don't howl. Well, we could teach you how to howl, and the rest of it don't worry about. Yeah, you could be a part of our family. Uh, woo! Oh, I love that idea. She's so cute. Uh, I don't, I don't know about this. Uh, this seems like a bad idea. You don't have to be afraid of us. We're nice wolves, and... And we'll be your family. Wait, really? I mean, you're not what I pictured as a family, but you seem really nice. And you rescued me out of that hole in the cemetery. Yeah, that was no problem. I can jump really high because I'm a wolf. Sorry, it's a full moon, so we, we howl a lot. A wolf. It's just in our nature. <laughs> full moon me means howl a lot. Yeah, we love to howl at the moon. You can try it, little girl. Okay, I don't know how good I'm gonna be though. I'm I'm a human, not a not a wolf. It's okay. Give it your best shot. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Oh boy, that won't do at all. Try it like this. Ha well, you're good at it because you're a kid wolf. You can be good at it too. No, come on. If you want to be a part of the wolf family, howl at the moon. Maybe she just needs to find the moon. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. You guys are really good at finding the moon. But I'll try it without it. Well, go ahead. Wait a minute. What's your name? My name's Molly. Okay, Molly. <laughs> nice to meet you. Go ahead. Howl at the moon. Howl! She did it! Hooray! Family, come on. We have to go back to the lair. The sun is coming up. Well, that's a good thing, you know, if you're human. Not if you're a wolf. Come on, everybody, let's go! Uh, your house looks kind of haunted. I don't know. I think maybe I was better off at the orphanage. Don't be silly, little human. Come on! Yeah, come on! Our house is really nice. We have an extra room just for you. Well, it's definitely kind of creepy, but it's a house. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Don't mind us. We keep it a little dark in here because we are werewolves. Um, okay. Um, there's a coffin over there. And, um, well, at least they've got a washer and dryer. That's cool. Can I go see my room? Um, mom and dad wolf. Oh, she called us mom and dad. She's going to be an adorable baby human wolf. I don't know. Is she ever going to turn into a wolf? No, she's not going to turn into a wolf. She's a human. Ay, ay, ay. Your boob could be um, right in here if you want it to be. Oh, wow. Why is there a cage in here? Oh, that's just for once a month when, you know, we, um, well, it's a full moon. But you guys were out last night on a full moon. Yeah, but sometimes we get a little too crazy. 
Oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? You've gotten yourself into a nice family who will care about you always, wolf or not. I guess I couldn't do any better for a family. I mean, these wolves seem to really care about me. Yeah, we'll teach you the way of the wolf. Now let me see you swish your tail. I don't have a tail. We'll just try anyway. How's this? Um, yeah, we got some work to do on your tail swishing. <laughs> That's okay. T That's okay, Sister Wolf. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Yeah, I'm super good at swishing my tail. I see that. You're super good at it. Maybe it's because you have a tail. <laughs> You'll fit in, don't worry. 